ओम शांति बाबा साकार मुरली जनवरी थर्ड 2024 वर्जन ऑफ श्री बाबा बाप दादा मधुबन एसेंस ऑफ द मुरली स्वीट चिल्ड्रन बिलोंग टू द फादर एंड ग्लोरीफाई द फादर्स ने to whom we belong to that is supreme god father shiv baba always have a intoxication the name will be glorified by your becoming completely pure you also have to become totally sweet so purity we can see in the world they are living the world for purity particularly sanyasis renunciators <clears throat> but they are not totally sweet while they it is an angels they are pure and totally sweet so baba say both the things at a time question what one concern do you children have at the confluence age that you won't have in the golden age baba say here no worries no concern but one concern must be there so no worry baba say concern answer at the confluence age you have the one concern of becoming pure because purity is the base of everything purity is the mother of peace and prosperity without purity there is no peace without purity there is no prosperity or both the father has made you free from worry in every other aspect only one aspect we have to worry that is the you can say make effort to become soul conscious because without effort nobody will get the fruit result so baba says baba has made free from all aspects except concern for purity <clears throat> you make effort so that you can share your old bodies in happiness so baba says the way how to leave the old bodies not in pain and sorrow but in happiness and happiness depends upon our mental stage stage of the soul you know that you will remove those old costumes and put on the new ones that is our consciousness that this is a costume of the soul nothing else body so we will remove old costume and we will put on the new that is new bodies each of you children should ask your heart how much happiness you have and how much you remember the father we have to ask to ourselves not to the others that how much happiness after we belong to baba we feel and how much we remember to him om shanti the spiritual father explains to the sweetest long lost and now found children we are the children of baba who departed him before 5000 years so long lost and now found he found us we were not able to find him though we were looking for him since last 2500 years he explains to them and also teaches them to whom to the children who are long lost and now found he teaches you the secrets of the creator and the beginning the middle and the end of the creation so what is his teaching this is his teaching he also says in addition to teaching what he says become full of all virtues and imbibe divine qualities so not only knowledge baba says knowledge must be in practical life by having all virtues and by having all divine qualities by staying in remembrance you will become sato pradhan there is no other way to become sato pradhan accept his remembrance by considering ourselves as a soul <clears throat> so baba says you know that the world is tamo pradhan at this time we know because we have baba's total and complete knowledge about the world he shows us the beginning middle and end of the world this is an old world it would be said of everyone this one was in the new world or this one was in the land of peace so 
the father sits here and explains because baba is explaining to his children only particularly at that time brahma baba was there so this one and not only one all the father sits here and explains to you spirits not to the body souls o oh, spiritual children you definitely have to become sato pradha so two words in english they are using spirit and soul we always say soul mate we never say spirit mate so there is a different meaning though meaning is same you can say quite deep meaning spirit they are using for the holy spirit that is you can say deity or god soul human soul human being so there is also different words what we have in the our mother tongue hindi language or gujarati language same way they have same word but different meanings different you can say references so spirit is not a soul actually spirit means pure soul or you can say almighty soul who are equivalent to him so spirit word they are using specifically for the god and human being become like god means equivalent to god so they are using spirit for the word for the soul of the deity or they believe in angel soul of the angels so baba says <coughs> he is teaching spirit that is souls you definitely have to claim your inheritance from the father and we are becoming spirit from the soul means pure souls you definitely have to remember me your father no other way worldly children also remember their father even in the world child remember their parents their father <clears throat> as they get older in the world they claim a right to the limited inheritance in the beginning when they are minor they have no right because they are not able to manage the thing so when somebody leaves the body when their children are minor there is trustees so baba says when they getting older they become mature then they can claim the inheritance there is now no need to do devotion etc because baba has met us you children have come to know that this is a university this is not a, any kind of common gathering or satsang all human beings have to study have to study no choice at the end you have to make your intellects unlimited <clears throat> this old world is now this old world is now about to change those who are now tamo pradhan will become sato pradhan you children know that what we know at this time you are claiming your inheritance of unlimited happiness from the unlimited father so father is also unlimited and happiness is also unlimited no boundaries no limitations we now have to follow the directions of the one spiritual father he is the only one who is making like him so baba said we have to follow his spiritual directions to become like him you souls are becoming sato pradhan on this spiritual pilgrimage of remembrance and you will then have to go to the sato pradhan world baba said world will transform it is a natural law anything from old will become new recycling so world will also become new whether we want or not so baba says you have to become satyabhadha you understand that you are brahmins and that you belong to the father you are studying there and this study is called knowledge the path of devotion is separate there is difference between devotion and knowledge the father speaks this knowledge to you brahms baba will not speak this knowledge to anyone else who are not brahms even baba speaks they will not understand so not knowledge is not for them knowledge is for brahms for us children no one else knows this knowledge they don't even know how the father the ocean of knowledge who is the also teacher teaches is the father so we are getting inheritance he is the teacher so we are getting the teachers teachings so we come to know through him where to go how to go so baba says the only teacher supreme teacher 
Baba continues to explain many topics. The number one aspect is to belong to the Father and glorify the Father's name and become completely pure. This is the number one aspect. This is the number one concern, what Baba says. What is the concern? To become pure, to belong to the Father and glorify His name. So first belong to the Father, first thing. Because without belonging to Him, we cannot come to know who He is. So belong to the Father, then glorify His name, means become pure. And also become, sorry, to become sweet like Him and to become pure also all things together you also have to become completely sweet have to become finally he will manage and our strong or you can say determined thought should be like that only we will become equivalent to him this is godly knowledge this is not a knowledge we should be shared by any human being god sits here and teaches us sits in the dada's body you have to remember that the highest on high is Father. He is the only one who is highest on high, means no teacher, no parent, no guru. He is the parent, teacher, guru of everyone. He is the beyond of everything. It is a matter of a second to consider yourself to be a soul. Because I am not giving any trouble to you. It is a matter of a second. You souls understand that you were residents of the land of peace and that and that you then came down here to play your parts. Now we understand because Baba has given the knowledge to us. So we understand that we should feel it, we should experience it. <clears throat> Souls continue to take birth and rebirth. We have now completed our parts of 84 births. That is also number wise. Because everybody, all these actors cannot come together on the drama stage. So here also, all the souls cannot come together. Souls continue to take birth and rebirth. So souls will come, enter in the body and take the rebirth. You have to understand this study as well as this part, both the things. Part as well as study. The secrets of the drama are also in your intellects. That is visualization. You know. That this is your last birth and that you have met the father in this last birth. The old world changes when you complete your 84 births. You know that, un that you know this unlimited drama, the 84 births and also this study. Baba say you know everything because Baba has given complete and full knowledge to us. A, B, C, D of the knowledge. Having taken 84 births, you have now reached the end. That was your last birth, Tamo Pradhan body, Tamo Pradhan world. So reached at the end. You are now studying and well then go to the new world. New ones continue to come. They continue to have faith in one aspect or another. That was a new souls will come to Baba. They have faith in one aspect or one another. Why Baba say one aspect or another? Because in the beginning we don't have full faith in all aspects, all points of Baba. So Baba says faith will increase one aspect or another. Some become engaged in this study. So depending on your faith, if they have complete faith, they will engage in this study. It is in their intellects. What is in their intellects? That they are becoming pure and satopradhan. Without this knowledge, nobody can become pure or satopradhan, completely pure. Some become engaged in this study. By becoming pure, we will continue to make progress. Without purity, no progress. Baba is explained. What Baba is explained? The more you stay in remembrance, the more you souls will accordingly continue to become pure. So remembrance is the base of purity. You children have the whole drama in your intellects. You also know what we know that you have come here having left everything of this world behind. We are coming to Baba, surrendering everything to him. Everything belongs to him, nothing of us. So leaving the world behind. You mustn't see whatever you see with those eyes 
all of it is going to end. This is now your final birth. No one else knows this unlimited drama. You now know the whole cycle. The father has now come to make you Sato Pradhan from Tamo Pradhan. Those examinations takes place after 12 months, which examination in worldly knowledge, where we are studying every year, there is final examination. <clears throat> Your pilgrimage of remembrance has not yet been completed. Our examination is not of 12 months. Our said continues till end. You remember many things. When this remembrance becomes firm, you will know the part of every human being of this whole world. So you will then not remember anything. When this remembrance becomes firm, you will not remember anything else. Your souls came bodiless and you have to return bodiless. I was no choice. However you came, you go back in the same way. So we came as a soul bodiless incorporeal, we will return also bodiless. You know the part of every human being of this whole world, every human being. There are many human beings and the number of them continues to increase. Eight billion were there. In this year, they have added about again seven or eight billion. So continue to increase. Souls are coming down. You can go on Google and check it. There are now millions. There will be very few of us in the golden age. Only 900,000. While we are taking birth and rebirth, the sex and cults of different branches has grown and tree has become very big. The human genealogical tree, we are calling as a kalp rooks, Christianity called as a Christmas tree. The original eternal deity religion has now disappeared, totally disappeared. <clears throat> Nobody can claim that we belong to deity religion. When we belong to the deity religion, we were Sato Pradhan. That religion has now become Tamo Pradhan and it will become Sato Pradhan again. And we are studying to become that. That deity religion has now become Hindu religion. So slowly and gradually Hindu religion or all religion become the more The more you study and teach others, the more benefit there will be for many. You should explain with a lot of love. So how to explain? Baba is teaching us everything. How to explain? What to explain? Up to what extent? Baba is giving detailed knowledge in every mudli. So we never miss the mudli. You have to drop leaflets from aeroplane, see how to do service. You have to explain in these leaflets that they have been doing devotion for birth after birth. To study the Gita is also to do devotion. <clears throat> it is not that anyone will become deity from a human being by studying the Gita. That Gita we were studying birth after birth. But nobody become a deity. I was not possible because it is a devotional Gita. Baba is telling us the true Gita through which we become deities. With that Gita, nobody can become. According to the drama, it is only when the father comes that he shows you the way to become Sato Pradhan. Only he can show the way. And as per drama, he has to come. He cannot come early, he cannot come late. You then receive a Sato Pradhan status. You understand that you are to become that through this study. This is God's part shala, not any human being's part shala school. God teaches you and makes you into Narayan from an ordinary human. There was heaven when we were Sato Pradhan. Then we became Tamo Pradhan, it is hell. The cycle has to turn, no choice. The father comes and inspires you to make effort to become deities from human beings and to become the masters of the world. He come and inspires. But to inspire us for establishment, he has to come in physical body in the other's body. For destruction, automatic inspiration will work. So Baba say he comes and makes us the masters of the world. You have to remember the father and imbibe divine virtues. This is the main task. You should not fight or quarrel. 
deities never fight or quarrel. You have to become like them. Have to be no choice. They are also transformation has to take place. It is a drama law. You were the ones who were full of all virtues, and you have to become that again on the basis of Srimat. No other basis. No on the Manmat or you can say Paramat. That is not on the directions or you can say own dictates or other dictates. Only on Srimat elevated direction of Sri Baba. <clears throat> you have to ask yourself what we have to ask ourselves to what extent am I happy? Second question to what extent do I have faith? Without faith, nothing will work. This should be remembered throughout the whole day. However, Maya is such that she makes you forget. Baba say we have to make effort. That is Maya who is making forget us. You understand that you are with the Father as God's helper in serving the world. Previously, you used to study limited studies, whereas you are now studying this unlimited study with the unlimited Father. This is an old body which will be shared at its own time. It cannot be shared in an untimely death. There is no untimely death also in future, but right now also. We have to share these bodies in happiness. We will share this dirty bodies and also renounce this old world and happily go back. When a great event takes place, people wear new clothes in happiness. So body is a question, Baba says. You know that you receive new bodies in the new world. We only have the one concern, which is to become pure and free from all other worries. All of this is going to end, so what need is there to worry? You had been worrying for half a cycle on the path of devotion. Now for half a cycle, there will be no worries. Very little time now remains. There is the slight worry to become pure. Some worry should be there. That is the reason in question. The word is concern. And here, Baba's word, because Baba told in the Hindi Murli, so translation is worry, but Baba says concern, worry is a negativity again, so concern is a better word. <clears throat> you had been worrying for half a cycle on the path of devotion, now for half a cycle there will be no worries, very little time now remains. So in reference of, you can say, golden age, no worries. So what is also right? Baba says, Baba has clarified the matter more, more in detail. All of this is going to end, so what need is there to worry? You had been worrying for half a cycle on the path of devotion. Now for half a cycle there will be no worries. Very little time now remains. There is the slight worry to become pure, then there won't be a single way. This is the play of happiness and sorrow. There is happiness in the golden age and sorrow in the iron age. Baba explained that. Baba has explained that you can ask them to others. Question, are you resident of the golden age, the land of happiness, or of the iron age, the land of sorrow? You relate these new things. It would definitely be said, you are now a resident of the land of sorrow. This has to be asked with a lot of love so that human beings can understand for themselves of which land they are residents. So Baba say, don't have arrogance. Ask them with love, otherwise there will be disservice. <clears throat> they would say that you have a very good way of asking questions. No matter how eminent or wealthy they may be, they are still residents of hell. Baba say here, nobody is completely happy. They are residents of hell. The new world is called heaven. This old world is now the Iron Age. These questions are very good. It is also clear in the picture of the ladder. You should ask them, are you in the land of happiness or in the land of sorrow? Question number one. Question number two, is this heaven or hell? Question number three, are, are you are a deity or a devil? Three questions. Surely the golden age would be called the deity world. The iron age is called the hell, <clears throat> the devil world. Therefore, you should ask them, are you residents of heaven, the golden age, the deity world, 
or are you residents of the iron age that is the devil world no matter how wealthy you are where you reside you now have this knowledge previously you never even thought of this thing we were also not knowing anything before we got baba knowledge it is now you understand that you are at confluence age those who are in the iron age are impure residents of hell and they have to become pure again no choice that is why they call out oh purify come come and make us pure you also have to explain this so many people come to you but nevertheless only a few out of a handful emerge so many people will take baba knowledge but very few will become baba's real child very handful what i am who a who i am what i teach only a few understand and follow this who is the god then it and what is the god how is teaching only few will understand when you take the exhibition etc around in the early morning you should so that we are becoming residents of heaven through this study that is prabhat peri this cycle continues to turn throughout the golden silver copper and iron ages the whole cycle he is in your intellects you are again becoming the masters of the land of happiness and the land of peace there is no mention of sorrow in the land of happiness if you do not study fully you will receive a lost status so loss is to us this is a common thing therefore study this unlimited study and claim the unlimited inheritance simply consider yourself to be souls and remember the unlimited path simply very very simple baba is very sweet his directions are finish the bo- all bondages of the bodies including those of your own bodies souls are imperishable one moment you adopt a body the next moment you shed it it doesn't take long for the soul to change the body at this time day by day everyone continues to become tamo pradhan when we were sato pradhan we had no long we had longer life spans and there were very few of us more than 150 years and only 900000 all over the world there was no other religion your life spans increases on the basis of the efforts you make now the more remembrance you have the more your life span will increase when you were sato pradhan your life spans were very long then as you continue to descend your life span become shorter your life spans become shorter when you enter the rajo stage they became even shorter when you enter the tamo stage that's the reason why number of birth increases in same age in 1250 years the number of birth is almost 50% 42 in in iron age world by 42 birth almost you can say in starting from confluence age to the end of the silver age so baba says life span will be decrease in future <clears throat> life span will be increase in future but decrease later on when copper age and iron age will come so baba says this is they big sorry your life span become shorter when you enter the rajo stage they become even shorter when you enter the tamo tamo stage there is the example of water will where the buckets are filled and emptied and very even so nowadays people have not seen the water wheel that is called rat we have indicated one picture today in the muldi group what kind of water wheel were there and you will see that is the wonder of bharat when nobody was using this kind of technique bharat was using that techniques at that time no scientists were there western world was not knowing how to harness the water we were already doing that thing what baba is indicating then came course course means you can say small vessel like thing more than bucket we have seen that but water will not in the we have not seen so we have seen on the video we have put the video also you are now being filled when you become completely full you will then gradually begin to empty this is also compared to battery just like water will just like battery even mobile battery 
After becoming Satopradhan, we will then go back and then take 84 births. The kingdom of Ravan begins after half a cycle. In the kingdom of Ravan, all are called residents of hell. Those who come later will come in hell. Firstly, you go to heaven. You receive the fruit of your devotion from the Father. It is understood. What is understood? This one has performed a lot of devotion, Dada, and this is why he is taking knowledge. Even include Tatatvam is like Brahmins too. The Father has explained all of these secrets to you. You then have to explain them to others. Human beings have committed many different types of sin. The Father has now come and he is giving you knowledge. It is only when the Father comes that he teaches you. For all of that time you did not know this, you continue to become sinful souls. How do you source become pure and charitable? And how do you then become sinful souls? Who are the residents of the Golden Age? And who are the residents of the Iron Age? You did not know any of this. The Father is now explained. The Father is called the flame, flame of knowledge. He has light as well as the might. Light means knowledge, might means power. When you have light, that is when you awaken, you receive might. Your life also become longer. Untimely death cannot come to you, come to you there in the golden age, silver age. You shed a body and take another in happiness. There is no question of sorrow. It is like a game. This is the, there is the example of snake. You have played your part from the golden age through to the iron age. This is now fixed in your intellects. Baba is your father, teacher and Satguru. Only you children know this number wise according to your efforts. Efforts are very, very important. You have also understood rebirth and how many births you take. How many births do you take as a Brahmin? Somebody told one birth. Baba said no. Some even take two or three births. For example, when someone sheds his body, he carries out the sanskar of a Brahmin. Because of having sanskar of a Brahmin, he will again come into the true Brahmin clan. The clan of Brahmin souls will continue to increase. They carry out the sanskars of belonging to Brahmin clan. They can take two or three births if they have karmic accounts to settle. So this is the reason. <clears throat> they will share their bodies and take others. The soul will go from Brahmin clan into the deity clan. It is not a question of the body. You now belong to the father. You are the children of God. And you are also the children of Prajapita Brahma. You don't have any other relationship. So Atma, Atma, bye bye, soul, soul, brother. And as a big case, brother and sister. No other relationship. It is not a small matter to belong to the unlimited father. You become the masters of the land of happiness. You have simply recognized the great father, and so your boats will go across. Acha? To the sweetest billboard, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance, and good morning from the mother, the father, Bab Dada. The spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children, and spiritual children's love, remembrance, good morning, and say namaste to the spiritual father. Mithe, Mithe, Sikala Deva Chopati. Mat Pita Bab Dada Ka Yad Piyar or Good Morning Rohani Bab Ki Rohani Bacho Ko Namaste Am Rohani Bacho Ki Rohani Mat Pita Bab Dada Ko Yad Piyar Good Morning or Namaste Shukriya Baba Shukriya Essence for Dhana Number One Ask yourselves what we have to ask first to what extent I am happy Second to what extent do I have the faith that I was full of all divine virtues and that I have to become that again on the basis of Srimad. Third question, to what extent have I become Satopradhan? Do I have concern day and night to become pure and Satopradhan? Point number two, you have to serve the world with unlimited father. Study this unlimited study and teach others. And the bondages of your body and your bodily relationships by having remembrance of the father. Blessing, may you be master almighty authority and make your stage man manabhav. How to make our stage man manabhav and how to become master almighty authority 
by having the awareness of being a master. This is the key. So Baba explains, keep this awareness constantly immersed. What is the awareness? I, a soul, am a Karavanhar, a master, a special soul, a master almighty authority. By having the awareness of being a master, your mind, intellect, and sanskars will be controlled. I am separate and a master. With this awareness, you will easily make your stage manmana bhav. The practice of being detached will make you karmatit. Slogan, to tolerate and accommodate defamation and disturbance means to fix your king. Om Shanti. With a vector, silence, experience, the double light angelic stage. Further point, point number three, silence means says a soul, as an embodiment of peace, is sitting in solitude and experiencing concentration of mind and intellect. With this concentration, you specially attain two powers, the power to discern and power to make decisions. These two powers resolve all problems in your worldly and your spiritual interactions. Through this, you easily make your stage double light and angelic. So all points are coming to make our stage double light and angelic. Acha Om Shanti.